Lessons from a Bus Ride. It was a rainy day. A man was in a crowded bus, bouncing painfully on the twists and turns of the road, on his way to attend a banquet. The bus was crowded to the brim, yet, to his annoyance, the conductor said to the passengers at the bus stop, "All on board! All on board! It's empty. There's lots of space." As the bus moved on, a person from the front seat had to alight, and he pushed the crowd mercilessly, brushing aggressively against everybody, and shouted, "Stop! Stop!" The bus halted suddenly, and everyone collided with each other. Out of a sudden, he felt something like an umbrella against his ankle. He started to get irritated. And intended to give the person a dressing down. However, he was unable to do so, as there was no space to even move in that jam-packed bus. A few minutes later, things got worse. He started to feel as though his foot was being run over by a bulldozer, as the sharp end of the umbrella was stabbing his ankle. Sentiments of rage started to build up, and he promised himself that he would give the owner of that umbrella a piece of his mind. A stop later, people started to alight. The man immediately pushed the umbrella away, turned around, and tried to find the face who had caused him the painful ride. There he was, standing right behind him, a blind man. With a white cane in his hand, in the fraction of the second, the pent-up anguish disappeared, and so did the pain in his ankle. Why the sudden turn of events? Masalu said, "Our state of mind is frequently being influenced by many external factors. As Buddhist practitioners." We should refrain from viewing the changes in our external environment with our inner tenacity. Instead, we should learn to let go, as only then will we be able to garner a better understanding of reality. Think about it: just how much your emotions and moods can be affected by seemingly minute factors, such as the weather. When you see that your wife is unhappy, or your husband is sulking, do not try to imagine that they are holding something against you. Could they have had a long, a lousy day at work, or could they have cut a finger while preparing dinner for you? Master Lu reminds us, when we realize that it doesn't take much for us to spare a thought for others, we will learn to let things be. And nothing will ever upset us. With such a mental attitude, we will find that our thoughts and emotions lean towards the positive. As time goes on, like the ocean depths, we will be less affected by the ripples on the surface, and more connected to the peace and wholeness at the heart of who we are.